Every hole really gives you the opportunity uh, to take in all of the beauty that's here. It's like playing golf in a national park. Welcome to Seven Canyons, the IMAX of golf. We're really excited to kind of share with you a couple of the most spectacular holes here at Seven Canyons. We're going to start on our fourth hole, which we really call our signature hole. Most dramatic hole out here at Seven Canyons. We've got about a 90 foot elevation drop between the tee box and the green. This is where everybody pulls out the camera, wants to really come out and take a, take a good pick. You can just spin around. There's a good view in every direction. I think in ranking this against par threes in Arizona, this certainly ranks right at the top. You know, as you're approaching this hole, you're heading toward this tee box, you're kind of thinking, oh, there's a little green over there that's gonna be kind of a short little par three. Anytime there are switchbacks in a cart path, you know you're gonna be doing some elevation climb. And that's what you really get here. You kind of start working the switchbacks up to the parking spot, and then it's a pretty good little climb on up to get up to the tee boxes. The yardages range from, from our white tees, our member tees, plays about 150. There's no wind, it plays shorter than that. The blue tee, our middle tee, that plays about 160, 165, and then the back tee from 175 to 180. From up here, it doesn't look like there's much going on on that green, but there, there's a lot of movement on it. This bluff to our uh, left here, that influences a lot. I mean, the, everything breaks here for, away from what's called Rachel's Knoll. So everything kind of moves from the left-hand side of the green toward the back right corner. The challenge here is usually the wind. If there's no breeze up here, it usually plays about two clubs shorter with the elevation change. I've hit everything off, off of this tee box from uh, a gap wedge to a four hybrid, just depending on the velocity of the wind. Why don't we give this hole a little shot here? So I'm gonna play it from our middle tee, from the blue tee. Today we do have the rare occasion where we don't have any wind. So uh, I'm gonna hit a little nine iron off of this tee and uh, hopefully get it somewhere on that green surface down there. Great shot. <laughs> So we're standing on the approach here to our 11th green. This is another one of my favorite holes out here at Seven Canyons. Weisskopf has a way of giving you short-ish par fours that really draw you into, you know, trying to hit the big ball, get up close to the green, have a nice little short pitch into it. This is an example of that. As you can see, kind of over my shoulder, the flag on this green is twice the height of a normal flag. Normal flag is like nine feet. This is like 18 feet tall. That's because from down in the fairway, you can't see this green at all. It's the opposite of a false front. Most false fronts repel the ball back down off of the green, back toward the golfer. This is a false front in reverse. It is a roll down to the green, and it tends to repel balls to the back of the green and off of the back of the green. I was taken by this hole, my very first visit here to Seven Canyons. You stand back on that tee box, and that's the, the backdrop. I mean, that's what you're looking into. And I can remember clearly hitting that first tee shot and seeing that ball up there and against those red rocks just hanging in the air, coming back down. It's a very dramatic hole from tee all the way to green. It's a difficult hole to kind of club on off of the tee because you're really kind of seduced into taking as much club as you can and getting as close to the green as you can. It can play as long as 350 yards from the back tee to as short as 300 yards from the white tee. So you just want to make sure that the strategy is put it in a place off of the tee where you got a, a full spinning shot into this green. And then always take note that that flag is twice the height of a normal flag. If the pin is up in front, you just take your medicine, hit it past the flag and putt back up the hill. But if you're just looking at a little bit of the pin over the, the rise there, it means you've got a green light. You can go and throw a ball back there and try to stop it close to the flag. The first time I came to Seven Canyons was, uh, I came up to do a feasibility study for the developer and uh, came up here before the golf course was here uh, and um, I thought I would, was, may, had made a wrong turn, to tell you the truth. Driving out here, going through all of the, you know, the national forest and seeing all the trails and all of that and getting closer and closer to where I was supposed to be, I thought I was lost for sure. Uh, but when I very first came out here, one of the first places they took me was to where the practice facility is. 
And I always talk about our, our, our driving range being the only destination driving range in the country. Uh, it really is uh, maybe the most beautiful spot on the whole golf course is our practice facility. So they took me down there, put me in an old pickup truck. There weren't any roads or anything back into there yet. Um, and when I stood on the spot that was going to be the practice facility, it was like an overwhelming kind of sense of awe. And I could just picture myself being here, kind of into my sunset years, giving lessons to the members and just fading into the sunset. And 14 years later, here I am. Great. It's a fun little side story, too. Beautiful. Yeah. Awesome. Cut, cut, cut.